come to this side of the bazaar? some of our new vegetables. Come on. Get new vegetables. Come along. Bukhara to Balka, from there to Khorizam, and then to Tabaristan. I have looked everywhere for you, and thought that I would be able to reach you in the capital. Well, you see, the capital fell after the palace and the throne were left deserted. In fact, before the Mongols even got there, the capital looked like a jungle. Every corner of it was out of control. It seemed that the capital was getting even worse as time went on. There was a tyrant ruling over the people, and was calling himself king. If a light wants to be put somewhere high, it wants it for itself, and not for itself. To the light, it does not matter where it is, be it up or down. Wherever it is, it makes sure that it shines very bright, no matter what. It only wants its brightness to reach others. The sun in the sky. If it comes down, it is the same sun, but the world would be dark. So it is not. High up there for itself. It is there for others. Well, sir, I, I have some very bad news for you. It seems that the prince has abandoned us here, sir. It's not that visible, sir. Uh, not at all. Um. So tell me then, how is the new horse, sir? <laughs> You've bought a very good horse. But you see, the only problem is that it has 
a tall back which isn't really suitable for my age. Please have some fruit, sir. Yesterday at the Abbevard Bazaar, an old man said there isn't a creature alive in Nishabur. So if Nishabur is done with, then the Mongols will surely be heading towards Khorazm. And we are actually in their path. That's right. So we have this fear that they might appear any moment from the hills or the plains. What we've seen and heard of the way the Mongols is that they pillage cities, with the intention of arming and preparing their men to be able to withstand distances and pass through. After eventually conquering a few big cities, like Bukhara, Samarkand, Balkh and Nishabur, they had decided that they will not be leaving Nishabur and head towards Khorazim, which is a long journey and has nothing to offer their armies except small cities. Small cities without any real fortune, like Abivad and Kabushan, or even a city with a long, huge and endless desert, like Garagom. Oh, my God. 